Oh, oh Jack's big got one. him. Jack's big got one. him. Jack's got him. I got him, Jack. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> So tomorrow I think we're going to go and do another catch and cook either for a spade fish or a red fish and I want to show you what I got here. I went and cut a cherry tree and made some cane poles because me and Brant dared each other in the office if we could do either a snapper or a spade fish with a cane pole. So it's going to get real weird out there tomorrow and we're pretty sure we can do this. It's going to be a lot of fun so here we go. So it's 6.30. Waiting on Samantha to get dressed. Got a bowl of blueberry yogurt. It's my favorite. We're about to head to the boat ramp. It's been raining and we were hiding out in the office right here until all this passed over. So we have a short window. Got a short window of opportunity. We're going by outcast get bait. Wish us luck today. There's Brant right there. That looks perfect. There they are. There they are, guys, right here. <laughs> the bamboo pole. That looks perfect. <laughs> That's gonna catch some fish right there. We cut our cane poles. Cane pole time, baby. <laughs> we got two of them. We ready. And then I got my cherry tree Let's poles. Let's hope the weather holds off. Yeah, it's raining. Yeah, so we just made it to the Bahia Mar Marina and uh, man, it's got our poles. It's really windy, it's fixed to the storm, and we're going to chase some spade fish. This man has got the poles. <laughs> and the rod holder. <laughs> Jack, what'd you Jack just dropped something overboard. I just dropped my Kershaw knife. I was running. And it fell out of my pocket and went straight down right there. All right, let's see if we can get it back. Lose those too. That was some crazy jump. It fell right out of How my deep pocket. is it? Did you, did you hit the bottom? Yeah. Got this. Oh, he got it. He got it. There it is. <laughs> What's up? I found it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Woo! Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> All right, guys, so right now we're on a rain delay. You can see it coming in right here. For like the next two hours, it's going to just get destroyed here, and then it's supposed to clear up and be nice. So Samantha's got her cane pole out, and she's trying to catch a catfish or a pinfish right here. These cane poles are a lot of fun. It's even funner in salt water. No expensive gear here. No expensive gear here. I'm gonna there's mine right there. While we're waiting on the storm to pass, I'm gonna throw out a bait right here. That's what I'm talking about. You never know what you're gonna catch. I got the cord and the bobber. We're gonna hang a tarpon up in this joint. Catch that one, Brant. Catch that one. What is it? There's a fish right there. Oh, you're getting a bite. Oh, oh. You got him, Samantha. Oh, oh. What? <laughs> Put okay. it back out there. Oh, good catch. Oh, that was a good cast. It's right there. <laughs> she snapped a pole. She just hung a humongous fish. We just had him snapped her snapped a cane pole. She just had her. So much for the Walmart. <laughs> so much for the Walmart cane pole. What do you think, Samantha? That was awesome. I had him. You had him all you had the stance and everything. See the cane pole floating? You think the fish is still on it? Yeah, we're gonna go get it. We're, Jack, we're gonna get our cane pole. Jack has gotta grab it. I think the fish might Oh, I see it. I see it. I don't see it moving.
Oh, we're hooked up. We're hooked up. <laughs> oh, he's big, whatever it is. Good, man. Oh, 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 oh. That's the cane pole challenge right here. All right, all right. I think he's. I think he's. I think we got him. Hand line him up. Hand line him up. Oh, it's a catfish. Oh, it's, yes. it's a catfish. Oh, 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 oh. I got him. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's hilarious. You got him. You got the saltwater yes. catfish. <laughs> so we just had one of the most epic fights on a cane pole ever. Samantha hooked a big old catfish on the Walmart four dollar cane pole and it snapped it and we gave up on it and we saw the the game pole bubble up like way down the marina we grant got on the horse with the engines we ran him down backwards fought him in and got a picture isn't that right samantha yeah that was a good time good time we got him all right we're in the middle of a rain delay here our guide i don't know what's going to happen with this one hopefully we get a break in it here in a second samantha's back there on facebook like usual Oh, she's reading. Excuse me. Excuse me. Cane poles are getting waterlogged, but we're going to be back to it here in about 20 minutes. All right, guys, we're on take two of this adventure. We just went and got some breakfast. It stopped raining. As you can see, it's still sprinkling. And we're headed out again after some spade fish, right? Yeah. With cane we're pole. We're going to try to catch whatever, whatever bites, whatever we can catch. Whatever we can catch. We're not going to be able to go very far because there's another storm. Yeah, we got like a two hour window, so here goes nothing. All right guys, so we just pulled up to Secret Spot, G14 Classified. Samantha's here, she's ready. Brant is hooking up some G14 Classified tackle back there. Yes sir, yes sir. And uh, we're hoping to get a big fish here in a second. We got this rainstorm over here, hopefully does not come and get us. We're gonna catch some big fish today. Check out this wind knot. You got him, Samantha! Get him up here! You got him! Oh, the pole's about to break. I hear it breaking. Oh, get him up, Samantha! Get him up! <laughs> Samantha, oh, you yes, got a spade fish. Woohoo! <laughs> spade fish. Thank you for biting my hook. You got him, Samantha. You got him. You got him. Yep, you got him. Samantha's got him on the cable. <laughs> Uh -oh, Samantha, you, how many poles have you broken today? Two, but this one I saved. I grabbed it before it went off. <laughs> Samantha's What's broke that? two poles today. That's hilarious. Two Look poles. at this fish I caught. Oh my gosh, how cool. Our conclusion to cane pole fishing in the Gulf is that it's pretty much a failure. We're, we're going <laughs> to break our poles every single time. That's a pretty spade fish. Though. That's a real nice one. Oh my gosh. Let's get another one of these. <laughs> She just broke another cane pole, but we got the spade fish in the boat. Look at this rig right here that Jack's <laughs> using. <laughs> I got plenty of heft in it, you know? Keep it right. Heave ho. Maybe stop it for a second right there and see if you get a bite. Oh, oh, oh Jack's big got one. Him. Jack, oh, Jack's got, one. Jack's got him. Jack's got him. I got Jack's oh, got him. Oh, Jack's oh, got one on the tree truck. Get him up, dude. Get him off the bottom. Is my camera home? Get him off the bottom. You got to get him off the bottom or you're going to lose him. I promise. Jack's got one move, on the tree trunk. Move, move, move. Jack. <laughs> Holy cow. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, did he come off? No. <laughs> dude, wrap him. Uh, get him up. Get him up. <laughs> get him up. <laughs> get him up. <laughs> oh, he broke off. Jack, you had to get him up. Oh my god, dude. Jack had, a, Jack had a big fish on the tree truck. 
I just hooked up with a massive snapper, a grouper, and lost That's him. A, that is upsetting, man. I had nowhere to go. I was like, so much line, there was nowhere to do anything. You had to grab it. You probably, we probably should have started just wrapping, twisting it around. Yeah, I think so. I couldn't get the camera on because my hands are full. Jack, how do you feel about that epic loss right there? Dude, that was, that was a stud. And I thought I had him whooped, and he got me down in the structure and cut me off. Man. How big do you think he was? I don't know. He's, he's good size. The tree log was bending over pretty hefty. <laughs> Alright guys, we gave it our best. I lost a really big fish on the cane pole I'm a while ago. I'm still impressed about that. Man, he was a ringer too. It was like I hooked up with him and I had him and I, I didn't have enough room and I just didn't know where to go with it. And I think if I would have had gloves on, I could have landed him. But I totally had him. He got me back in the structure and cut me off. And then hooked up with another one, and I think I had a little shark cut me off. But we gave it a, we gave it a whirl, and you could definitely catch them on those tree trunks right there. Also, so we broke two cane poles, the Walmart type. But uh, Samantha caught like three spade fish. I think Brant caught a spade fish, and uh, I struck out. So it was just it wasn't my day. All right guys, so it's the next day. I've had the spade fish on ice. Uh, I cleaned him and I put him in the refrigerator over here. And now Samantha is gonna attempt to cook it. <laughs> See, check him out. Oh yeah. Yum. Samantha's gonna walk us through how to cook this thing. I've never eaten one before. And Brant cooked one the other day over at Angler Up. If you haven't seen his channel, check it out. Angler Up with Brant. He cooked one and then Greg, over on Greg Edmonds Outdoors, he cooked one and made a, and made a, um, like a spade fish dip, which was pretty good with some crackers. So I think this is another jewel out there in the bay that everybody doesn't eat, but they're simple to catch and they should be good to eat. So we are gonna cook him on top of the stove because Samantha's uh, oven went on the fritz a couple days ago it sounded like an electrical fire it was like a welding torch inside that oven right there it was crazy i ran for cover so she's gonna walk you through it we're gonna cook it and we're gonna eat it tell the people about spade fish tell the people about spade fish do you like spade fish they want to eat them all right so man what kind of bright ideas do you have here all right, so we are going to stuff the inside of the spade fish with some garlic, some lemon slices, and butter. And we're gonna season it with salt and pepper. Season the outside with salt and pepper and then just put it in this hot oil right here and cook it off for a few minutes on each side. I don't think it has a lot of meat on it, so it's not gonna take long to cook at all. And then voila! We love garlic in this house. Mmm. It's a little fish, so not a lot of lemon goes in it. All right, this is gonna sizzle. This is gonna sizzle, guys. Woo! What you got over here, Samantha? Some black eyed peas and okra from the garden. Oh man. Okra from the garden, black eyed peas, old pan pop. What's in the other pot? Collards. Woo! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Save for some collards. There go. Collards are from the garden. All right, Samantha, tell them what we got here. Okay, we have a spade fish that I pan seared with 
lemon, garlic, butter, salt and pepper stuffed inside of it. And then the outside has just salt and pepper and butter and oil in the awesome. pan. Marla, what you trying to sneak in on that spade fish? Trying to slip in there? <laughs> so before we eat, Jack, you want to tell him who called the spade fish? She called the fish. I, I struck out. I had this big oak tree limb. I was fishing the whole day. I'm going to say I was fishing the whole day for a snapper, you know, a grouper. And then I hung that one and I fought him for like a good solid minute. I, could, I couldn't handline him in, ran out of space, <laughs> and it was just problematic. But I did, I think I hung a shark. He cut me off. I lost that big one on some kind of structure down there, but uh, long story short, she caught all the fish. I caught all the fish. I had the good juju. <laughs> she caught all these on a little game pole that we got from Walmart. So you gotta check out Brant's episode. He has the other half of this. It's awesome. All right, so test okay. it, test it. You got my fork. Oh. You gotta watch her. Yeah. All right, try it. All right, this is spade fish, y'all. Tastes good? I actually really, really like it. Yum. Right, I'm gonna try it. Did you get a did you get a skin piece or a No All right, I here here goes nothing. I didn't get a skin piece. Hey. It's really good. It is way better than Jack Raval. It's a hundred million times better than Ladyfish. It tastes good. There's nothing wrong with this fish. It it tastes like a trout to me. Yeah, it does kinda of taste like trout. Hey man, I'm gonna try I'm trying a skin piece now. I'm trying a skin piece. So like this is really I mean, it's white meat, kind of, I guess you could say. I might not cook it all the way. <laughs> the skin is nice and crispy. Yeah, tastes great. Tastes great. All right, guys. We approve the spade fish. I would suggest cooking it whole and not trying to fillet the, the spade fish. Think so? Yeah, because you'll you'll lose a lot of meat. When you cook it whole like this, we we saved all the meat and we're able to eat all of it. Yeah, so. I mean, it, yeah, I guess you, I mean, just depending on the size of the fish, if he's big, you might could try it, but if not, there's nothing wrong with eating it just like this. All right, guys, so I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at Yak Molly and Facebook at Yak Molly. And don't forget to subscribe. I already said that again. And we're going to eat these collard greens, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.